Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see example 3 from first chapter number system of 9th class. So locate root 2 on the number line. So students, you know already how to locate the numbers on the number line. Just you will draw one number line and in between 0 is there and right side positive numbers and left side negative numbers. So this is number line. So now you have to represent this root 2 on the number line. Okay. See how you will represent. So you know root 1 is equals to 1 and root 2. Root 2 is not a perfect square. Right. And that means 2 we cannot write as a square of any number. Okay. Root 3 also not perfect square and root 4 is 2 right so you can clearly identify the value of this root 2 lies between 1 and 2 that means on the number line you can represent root 2 between 1 and 2 okay how you will represent let us see so you know already how to represent numbers on the number line right so in between 0 will be the right side of 0 positive and left side of 0 negative integers are there so now to represent you know clearly root 2 lies between 1 and 2 but we have to uh, denote a particular point exactly where it lies right so the kachitanga ekkada untundi 1 and 2 ki madhyalo root 2 value enti anedi manu oka point to represent cheyali so for that so here 0 to 1 it will be one unit na Okay, 1 centimeter or 1 unit and let it be A, B. Now, you will draw a perpendicular line here. Okay, this is C. So, now it is a right angle triangle. So, in a right angle triangle, where right angle? Here, no? So, the side which is opposite to right angle is called hypotenuse. What is it? What is it? Hypotenuse. Okay. Hypotenuse is the largest side in a right angle triangle. So Pythagoras told that in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse square is equals to side square plus side square. Remaining two sides are there now. So BC square is equals to AB square plus AC square. So here in this triangle, what is hypotenuse? AC. Right. So, AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. I, I told already this is 1 unit and this is 1 unit. So, AC square is equals to 1 plus 1. AC square is equal to 2. AC is equals to root 2. Okay. I think you are getting my point. So, now this is root 2. So, now with the compass, you will take this radius and with this radius and taking A as center, you will draw an arc between 1 and 2. The point where it cuts the number line denotes the value of root 2. Okay. Like this, you will solve this problem. So, for that, here already I draw a number line. Okay. I draw a number line so 1 1 centimeter means uh, already it will be very close now 1 centimeter 1 centimeter so that's why I took 1 inch okay so see 1 1 inch I took the distance on the number line so here at 0 I am taking 0 as a and at 1 I am taking a b okay so now a b is equals to one unit right this is one unit now with the help of the scale at b okay draw b c is equals to one unit so from here to here one unit now and this is perpendicular so draw this line so this is one unit and perpendicular to a b now join this point will be C. Now join AC with the scale. Very simple. So now join AC with the scale. 
So now A, B, C is a right angle triangle. Right angle is at B. Right. So by Pythagoras theorem already I explained now 1 plus 1. 2 AC square is equals to 2. AC is equals to root 2. So what is the value of root 2 here? AC. What is the value of AC here? Root 2. So now take the compass and just by taking A as center just measure AC distance exactly. Now so after measuring this by taking A as center draw an arc. So between 1 and 2 the arc intersect at one particular point now let it be P. So this P is nothing but root 2 on the number line. Why? Because with AC radius only now we draw an arc. So this is the value of root 2 on the number line. Okay. So let us see the steps. So first AB is equals to 1 unit. Draw BC is equals to 1 unit and perpendicular to this AB. Next what we have done? Now triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So by Pythagoras theorem. Okay. By Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equals to side square plus side square. What is hypotenuse? The side which is opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. So AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square remaining two. So we know AB is equals to one unit and BC is equals to one unit. So AC square is equals to one square plus one square one plus one. AC square is equals to two. So now uh, when you transpose this square to RHS it will become square root. So AC is equals to root two. Okay. So now what we have done by taking A as center with AC radius draw an arc on the number line. It intersect at P. It represents root 2 on the number line. So students like this you can represent root 2 on the number line. Okay. I think you understand this video. Students please share with your friends. And please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.